Alright, what's up, guys? So, I wanted to address the situation between Hulk Hogan. So, I have here this article. It says, the big update. The very latest on Hulk Hogan's WWE Hall of Fame status. You can see right here. And, this is an article basically about Hulk Hogan no longer being in the Hall of Fame. So... I'm going to read this real quick and and see what I think about it. So, here, check this out. While the Hall of Fame section of WWE.com is no longer listing Hulk Hogan following his WWE contract being terminated, WWE has yet to make an official announcement regarding his Hall of Fame status. Hogan's name was removed from the Hall of Fame section on WWE.com, more so because WWE mandated this morning that all mentions of Hogan be scrubbed from WWE.com which would include the Hall of Fame section. According to Dave Meltzer of F4WOnline.com, an official decision as to whether or not Hulk Hogan will be dropped from the Hall of Fame status has yet to be made. Vince McMahon, of course, has made a history of changing his mind. Oh, my bad. Vince McMahon, has, of course, has the history of changing his mind on things several times. And while it's possible could mend some of the Hogan wounds, his situation could grow increasingly grave if the National Enquirer does indeed release more controversial Hulk Hogan comments, as they previously teased they would. So, basically, what's going on here is that Hulk Hogan, his contract from WWE is terminated, which means WWE doesn't give a damn about Hulk Hogan anymore. So, I have here another article, and probably it will explain to me what the hell is going on, because I'm kind of confused right now. I'm just reading the last article, so let me see. There's an article right here. It says, report, WWE scrubs all mentions of Hulk Hogan in wake of controversial N-word audio. So here. This should really explain to me what is going on. So, let's, let's see. Things just keep getting stranger in the life of Terry Beloa. I can't, I'm not pronouncing that right. Best known as the shirt-ripping professional wrestler Hulk Hogan. As the Hulkster is set to go to trial in a $100 million personal injury lawsuit against Goyer Media, which posted a video of a sex tape featuring Hogan. It's been revealed late Thursday that World Wrestling Entertainment has scrubbed most mentions of its Hall of Fame wrestler from its websites and online stores. According to, w according to Wrestling News Source on WWE.com, Hogan is no longer listed on the Hall of Fame webpage. And all of his merchandise has been removed from WWShop.com. The only thing currently remaining in the Hemmings is Hulk Hogan. It involves WWE's upcoming Australian tour, which Hogan was scheduled to take part of as general manager. However, when any attempt to access this page is made, a message appeared stating, You are not authorized to access this page. Seven pages of Hogan, old Hogan articles, however, still appear when using the search function of the site. Hogan, meanwhile, tweeted the following to wake of the news. In the storm, I release control. God and his universe will send me when he wants to be one. When he wants me to be one. Be one, look. Reports online initially claim the reason behind the scrubbing of Hulk Hogan is an audio clip from an interview that surfaced online. The radio interview occurred back in t October of 2012 and featured Hogan's on DJ Wu's kid radio show. Uh... Wooly Wood Shuffle, which aired on Eminem's uh, Sirius XM hip-hop channel, Shade 45. Uh, during the interview, host DJ Woo Kid brought up how Hulk Hogan has a history of calling everyone brother, and the conversation then circued sur sur in the infamous moment when Booker T called Hulkster a nigger on live TV. Well, Booker T used to do that to me. And every time I pull up YouTube, there's that famous thing with Booker T and his brother is there, and they're talking trash. And Booker T says, "I'm coming for your, I'm coming for your Hulk Hogan, you nigger, and not nigga. This he goes nigger. Hogan, DJ Wu Kid. I'm not being racist. I'm just reading what the article says." Hogan then recounted his time living in, Ma in Miami and all the rappers he bumped into the game, Lil Wayne, etc. And it's so cool. It's still so cool because the whole time it was down in Miami. Blah, blah, blah. I, don't, you know, I don't think I need to read this. Um, here we go. 
Other sources, however, claim the controversial racist audio that Hogan scrubbed is an addition of the radio interview and comes from a legal despedition in the ongoing Godkirk case. The WWE has not yet responded to requests for comment and yet officially confirmed the reason for erasing Hogan from their websites. Of course, it would be a bit hypocritical for the WWE to be offended by Hulk Hogan's boneheaded comments when you consider that its CEO, Vince McMahon, once called wrestler John Cena the N-word right in front of Booker T, who then turned to his girlfriend and said, tell me he did not just say that. As we can see right here. So yeah, um This man is one of the strangest creatures in the universe. He's Whoops. Okay. Uh nothing let me see. Okay, here we go. WWE terminated his contract with Terry Baloa, aka Hulk Hogan. WWE is in gr committed to embracing the celebrity individuals from all backgrounds as demonstrated by the diversity of our employees, performers, and fans worldwide. And Hulk Hogan has been re has released the following apology to People magazine. Eight years ago, I used offensive language during a conversation. I, uh, I'm not. I'm. I don't have the best Hulk Hogan impression. I'm just doing. I'm just reading the article. It was unacceptable for me to have used that offensive language, brother. There is no excuse for it, and I apologize for having done it. This is not who I am. I believe very strongly that every person in the world is important and should not be treated differently based on race, gender, orientation, religious beliefs, or otherwise. I am disappointed with myself that I use language that is offensive and inconsistent with my own beliefs. Uh, let's see here. So basically, you can see, you can hear that Hulk Hogan is basically gone from the WWE. You know, they kicked him off of Tough Enough because he's no longer a judge. They kicked him off of the Hall of Fame status on WWE.com, so he's no longer a Hall of Famer. And the worst part was they got rid of him in, in the WWE 2K16 video game. Okay, I can understand if they want to terminate his contract and have him no longer a Hall of Famer, but why do you have to get rid of him in, in the game? I don't get that. So Hulk Hogan's no longer in the game. And they got rid of his merchandise on WWEshop.com. What do I say about that? I say that's retarded. I say that's stupid. It's really dumb. Hulk Hogan was and always will be the one of the most coolest superstars to ever step foot in a WWE ring. You know, he's always been one of your top favorite guys from like the 80s or the 90s. And just to have him kicked off of the Tough Enough show as a judge, to have him kicked off as a Hall of Famer, to have him kicked off at all the merchandise from WWE Shop, no longer there, um, his profile removed from from WWE.com, no longer in the game of WWE 2K16, it's ridiculous. It it really is. And I don't know, man. Not much more I can say about this, but I think it's really stupid. I told my dad about it, and he said they might they might somehow bring him back, but I don't know if that's, that's kind of hard to believe. But who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, as of right now, I am not completely sure what's going to happen, but we'll see what happens. Right now, Hulk Hogan's gone from the WWE. That's all I could say right now. After reading those two articles, but I thank you guys for watching this video, and I apologize if I had to, you know, say the ridiculous words from the article, but whatever. See you guys next time.